What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we have two Toy Tokyo mystery boxes here. These are somewhat budget boxes because they were $10 each and I'm assuming that they're both inside of this one box because I only got one box from that. You can see it's just a normal brown box and if you guys want to send me stuff there is an address linked below or well in the description anyway, and you can go ahead and send me Funko related things, but we're gonna get into this mystery box here and see what the mystery is, what we got for $10. I don't think there was a whole bunch of grails up for grabs, but I figured $10 mystery box, totally worth a shot. Let's hope that my knife doesn't cut into them in any way, but I'm gonna move the paper out of the way so I can feel the, okay, I feel the two pop boxes. They're not in any kind of protector or anything, but these are both of the mystery boxes. So, first $10 mystery box from Toy Tokyo. Let's pull it out here, and you guys can see that. We have a gold, a gold Gamora. I mean, I guess, you know, at least we're getting a $10 pop. I don't know, I don't need Another gold Gamora, and also box damage. All right, so next one, let's go ahead and, not that that was an exclusive pop or anything. Next one, let's see what we got here. And we have, ooh, I feel something nasty on the top of this. Oh, it's a sticker, okay, we have Turbo. This is actually not that bad of a pull, I mean, Really, like, this is an older pop. This is a vaulted pop. It's from 2013, and the box is actually mint, which is surprising. You know, he, he fetches a, a value of around 20 bucks online, so I guess if you think about it, I doubled the money on on this mystery box. Best I can do out of this is a trade for somebody who really likes Wreck-It Ralph and doesn't have this pop already, which I think is probably slim pickings in the world. It was a good deal for a mystery box, I guess. It's just no different than me sending like a random employee to the store to buy two random pops for me. Though this one you cannot find in a store. Uh, Turbo from Wreck-It Ralph is vaulted and uh, you can even see on the bottom here the, the manufacture date of uh, 2013 right there in the front. So. This is, this is an older pop, that's cool. I mean, I'd be much more happy if I collected Wreck-It Ralph. But what do you expect for a $10 mystery box, you know? So, I mean, overall, I think it was a good value for a mystery box. I just wish that, personally, I got stuff that I was more interested in. Um, but that's not a big deal, you know? You, you have to play to win, essentially, with these mystery boxes. And not every one is going to be a home run. But, you know... Cool, I mean these two, I'll probably get, end up giving them away to somebody or whatever, or maybe take this one out for a trade, something like that. But I wanna know your thoughts about both of these in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about the pops, about Toy Tokyo in general, or mystery boxes. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when new videos like this drop. And also, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But that's about all for today's episode. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.